good evening students this is manas patnaik your friend and tutor and in today's video we are going to do a problem from the chapter equilibrium of bodies this is engineering mechanics i'm talking about and here we are going to deal with three cylinders okay so this problem was sent to me by one of my students um he right now is in the first year of engineering and they were given an assignment which had as many as five problems it was this very cylinder problem that everybody was having a hard time dealing with some of the students even got the final solution the correct answer in fact but the faculty was not satisfied with the free body diagrams he was not satisfied with the solution okay in a nutshell he wanted a comprehensive solution so i am going to give him one all right and by the way uh, i i all of a sudden asked him that uh, which textbook does your faculty follow he told me that sir he follows this timoshenko book <laughs> i have a copy of this timoshenko book engineering mechanics by timoshenko and young it's a beautifully book written book very 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 concise and absolutely to the point read the chapter of friction from this book you will love it <laughs> okay <clears throat> there is a different story altogether how i got a copy of this book and i'm going to tell it at the end of the video okay this was back in the year 2005 6 i guess academic year 2005 6 i've come very far 2005 6 and now it is 2023 14th of october <sighs> anyway two smooth cylinders a and b each weighing 445 newtons radius 5 152 mm so these are the two cylinders a and b their radius has been given 152 152 their weights are 445 newtons done sir are connected at the centers by a string ab of length 406 mm string ab connecting their centers how much 406 mm and rest upon a horizontal plane this is the horizontal plane upon which these two cylinders are resting done sir what's next supporting above them a third cylinder c of weight 890 newtons so there is another cylinder c the weight is 890 newtons and radius is same okay the weight is different but the radius is same radius is 152 as shown in the figure below determine the force in the string and the pressure uh, on the floor at the point of contact 1 and 2 so don't get confused uh, they have written pressure over here but it is the force that is what we need to calculate because pressure involves force per unit area so you don't have to go that far right even if you simply consider a cylinder right there is a there is a the contact that the cylinder by the way this pin qualifies as a cylinder okay the, the contact that the cylinder has with this ground with the palm or uh, is a line line contact so the cylinder will push on my on on the ground and the ground will push back action reaction concept that is what we are going to work with so from the ground there is this reaction r1 if you watch carefully this is the ground this is the cylinder okay i have freed this cylinder a from the ground so this is the reaction from ground r1 and this is the action on the ground from a i hope you got the point it is this r1 that you need to calculate and in order to calculate this r1 you need to calculate this r1 uh, you'll understand everything don't worry what is the first thing that we'll do sir the first thing is to consider the free body diagram of the entire arrangement okay it's just that you can remove this line over here no need to even remove it let me do this summation fy0 do it how many forces are involved sir three forces in the downward direction negative two forces in the upward direction positive let us write them down with their proper signs this is what you get r1 plus r2 is equal to 1780 and sir one more thing that we can observe is that this entire arrangement is symmetrical about an axis about this y axis passing through this point c over here whatever is to the left is an exactly mirror image to the right so from this we can say that this entire force these three forces will be divided equally between r1 and r2 so we can say due to symmetry r1 is equal to r2 so if i just plug in this value of r2 as r1 over here the entire equation will have only one unknown that is r1 r1 will eventually work out as 890 newtons this logic will work for this problem but if here 
this 445 changes to say 440 or say 500 or any other value other than this 445 then <laughs> you have to follow the classical approach which i am about to tell you and i i am going to get these answers again for you by considering the free body diagram of all of these cylinders individually don't worry okay next five minutes and we are done with this problem okay now what's up take a look the radius has been given yes sir how much sir 152 152 all of them yes a b c everywhere 152 152 done what was the length of the string the length of the string was 406 so this is 406 in totality it is a symmetrical case so you can say uh this is 203 203 406 by 2 got this yes sir what's next now what we are going to calculate is this theta okay if you watch carefully let me zoom in if we just want to calculate cos theta base over hypotenuse 203 divided by 152 plus 152 and uh, this is what you are going to get sir why did you calculate this angle theta because whenever you place any force along with magnitude there has some direction okay they say has a magnitude of 20 newtons but you need to know its direction and for direction we have this angle theta that's very important okay. and it also helps in uh, resolving the forces into components the next thing to do is to create the free body diagram just take a look i have updated this this is theta that is 48.1 okay you can write 48.1 over here as well no problem done sir the next thing to do is to create a free body diagram so let us free all the bodies okay from this ground from each other right so this is point of contact 3 this is point of contact 4 so there is going to be reaction 3 by the way what about this reaction 3 sir this is also r3 this is also r3 yes it is same it is simply the action reaction concept from newton's third law if you watch this reaction 3 over here this arrow in the downward direction this is the reaction on a from c and this r3 is the reaction on c from a in the same fashion you can understand this r4 connection uh this four connection point of contact between c and b as well okay and by the way if you are going to connect these two cylinders with the help of a string the string will be in tension and whenever the string is in tension uh, we represent that force by t okay sir. So, so far so good now what to do <clears throat> now we'll individually make the free body diagrams of all of these cylinders and we are going to calculate the values of r3 r4 r1 tension t and r2 this is going to be so damn easy and fun to watch so watch this video right till the end here we go which one sir block c let's do it okay you see this 48.1 same thing r4 also making an angle of 48.1 with the horizontal very very important force alone is not enough you need to know at what angle it is being applied if it is horizontal or vertical it's absolutely fine no problem but a force which is inclined slightly it is better to have its inclination either with the horizontal or with the vertical 890 point c point c shift it done sir r3 what is the angle that this r3 is making sir this r3 is making an angle of 48.1 with the horizontal so r3 with the horizontal 48.1 in the same way r4 48.1 away from this point c done sir what's next sir we can see three forces okay whenever you see the three forces and the body is in equilibrium apply lamy's theorem go ahead let's do this 890 divided by sine of the angle between the remaining two forces how much is this angle sir this is going to be 180 minus 48 minus 48 write it down secondly let us consider this force that is r4 how much is this angle sir uh, this is 90 plus 48.1 so what we have over here is r4 divided by sine of 90 plus 48.1 easy and finally in the same fashion you can write uh, r3 divided by sine of this much that is 98 plus 48.1 so so damn easy okay consider these two solve solve for r4 and then consider these two solve for r3 these are the values which you will be getting r3 is working out as this r3 as well as r4 are working out as 597.87 okay do you want me to update this here it is r3 updated as 597.87 but first of all take a look at this uh, free body diagram once again 
the complete free body diagram which shows all the three cylinders okay sir now oh, we have analyzed block c we are going to now not block c cylinder c we are now going to analyze cylinder a done r3 is 597.87 done sir so let me update this r3 as 597.87 again take a look everything is same okay i have tried my level best to create a very very comprehensive solution okay so that all your teachers are satisfied with that so uh, watch this is 445 sir this is r1 these two forces i mean the lines of actions are absolutely same yes they are opposite but the line of action are same so what we can do is their directions are different i can convert these two forces into a single one by writing it as 445 minus r1 that is the first thing secondly if you watch this r3 is making an angle of 48.1 with the horizontal so at an angle of 48.1 this is r3 done sir and what about this t place it again all the forces are away from this point a from this point a right what's next apply lemmy's theorem and enjoy the math what to do first 597.87 divided by sine of the angle between the remaining two forces write it down what is this angle you know this <laughs> then 445 minus r1 divided by sine of the angle between the remaining two forces sir this angle is 180 plus 48.1 got this okay finally let's write t divided by sine of the angle between the remaining two forces this is sine of 90 minus 48.1 done solve them and you are going to get the value of r1 as 890 and t as 399 and by the way this r1 value i already told you from that symmetry concept is 890 it is just that if the problem has different values if all of them have different weights then you will be in trouble that is why i am giving you the best approach to this very case okay sir and finally we have cracked analyzed uh, cylinder c we have analyzed a and now it is you guys can do this i won't provide the solution for cylinder b okay i'll just show you the solution pause the video right now and you can calculate this very very easily the directions are just opposite to what a had okay and as far as the story of this book is concerned uh there was my friend not was there is my friend who actually dropped out from engineering after first year he got as many as 10 backlogs from uh there used to be 12 subjects in the first year of engineering 10 backlogs and then he said bhai manas nahi ho ye kitabe le jao okay he told me that you can take these books with you uh, i'm done with engineering he went to canada <laughs> okay so uh, i mean aisa hota hai nirash hone ki zarurat nahi hai don't get disheartened uh, some of the students get backlogs in their first year of engineering it's it's okay make sure the number of backlogs is less it happens what to do pehli pehli baar ghar se bahar nikalte hain to thode se ho jata hai nahi hota but but to be honest my friend did not like engineering much okay he said ye mere liye nahi hai bhai maine chhod diya usko but some of the students who were very very passionate uh, i mean they really believed in their abilities and they had cleared all their backlogs in the second of year of engineering first year backlogs in the second year of engineering can you can you just imagine clearing eight backlogs seven backlogs along with their regular subjects in the third semester it is so so difficult but they somehow managed and they are champions hmm? they are in absolutely good jobs some of them are even outside the country so yeah life is tough first year of engineering really people people face a hard time dealing with subjects okay if you if you really get a good teacher then things will be easy for you otherwise yes it's, it's tough so this is how i got this book timo shenku and young but once i finished my engineering once i got into teaching then i got the opportunity to go through this book and it was fun so that was the story okay thank you very much have a nice day